Hey guys, in this product of the week video, we're taking a deep dive into the Technician's Choice Ceramic Detail Spray. What's going on guys, and welcome back to another product of the week video where we take one single product and basically try to dissect it in every way that we can. So just for a little context, I got this product from my friends at Chicago Auto Pros at their website, carguyssupplies.com. So of course, as always, there'll be a link to this product, but some of the more specific kind of detail-esque products I get from their website, not amazon.com so much. But guys, basically this ceramic detail spray is probably the best detail spray I've ever used. And while I can't speak on longevity yet, and we will revisit it in the future to talk about the longevity, I can say this, in my opinion, gives Meguiar's Express Spray Wax a run for its money, Bead Maker a run for its money. This will probably be the product that I start to reach for as like a staple, just default um, in the future when it comes to not only off-label uses like dressing the interior, leathers, plastics, rubbers, vinyls, but also uh, addressing the exterior when I'm wanting to get that done quickly or even top something off like a ceramic. This is absolutely going to be the product that I start reaching for. So I wanna read you guys in the description real fast here. It says Ceramic detail spray is one of the easiest ways to get ceramic protection. It can be used as a standalone or as a ceramic coating booster. It delivers exceptional gloss and slickness to the treated surfaces along with unparalleled surface protection. The product can be used wet or dry. Only a few sprays per panel are needed for adequate coverage. This versatile product can be used on all exterior surfaces including glass, plastic trim, chrome, moldings, and wheels. And I can just tell you right now, it's got off-label uses for the interior as well. So to switch over to the directions, it says, for first time application, wash and dry vehicle, perform any needed preparation steps for a flawless finish, for example, clay bar or polish. Apply a few sprays to a panel, use one microfiber towel to lightly wipe the product into finish. Use a second microfiber towel to wipe to a high gloss shine, or you can just use the same towel and use the dry side. You can also use this product as a drying aid. So here, apply a few sprays to a panel, wipe dry with a microfiber towel. For best results, start with the glass first to avoid streaking for subsequent application, a dry vehicle wash and dry the vehicle first. So yada, yada, yada. Point being is this is not only one of the most like beautiful products that I've used recently as far as like the shine that it gives, but it also has all the same off-label uses as something like Meguiar Spray Wax does. It also works like a bead maker would work as a um, drying aid to the vehicle. So I wanna go ahead and show you guys how we apply this. And we're actually gonna be looking at this on a few different vehicles as far as how to apply it, what the shine looks like, topping a ceramic, and doing things like a water test just to see kind of what the results we get are going to be. All right, guys, so this first vehicle is a Honda Pilot, and it's a 2019, so it's super new. Didn't have to clay bar the paint or anything like that before I apply the Technician's Choice Detail Spray, as you are seeing. What I really wanna show you here and talk just very surface level about is, number one, the ease of application, but number two, the versatility of the product. I'm gonna be using it on not only the paint, I'm using it on all the exterior glass. Uh, I actually use it on the interior glass as well, funny enough, and I'm gonna be using it on all the black trim, on all the headlights, on all the chrome in the front grille, in every area you could possibly think of. So it's not only going to repel water from the paint, but we're going to kind of give that rain x type feel to the windows as well. Customers really tend to uh, love that. Now, this is a car that's been sitting in the direct sunlight all day long. Of course, it's kind of convenient with my garage as the sun kind of goes down, as the day goes on. Sorry for the <laughs> leg shot there. As the day goes on, I kind of get more in the shade just because of how the sun is setting behind the house, but I'm applying barely any to the paint, and that's really what I want to hit on here is you guys are going to get to see the after result of what the car looks like after all of this has been applied to every part of it, but I am using probably one spray per like pretty major panel, including the windows, and it just is so, so, so simple to apply. I think that it gives Meguiar's Synthetic Express Spray Wax a run for its money. I think it gives B maker a run for its money and the only real question I have now is does this product outlast those uh, previously mentioned products that I'm so used to using over the last few years. I also use uh, this product to address any interior pieces. So steering wheel, hard rubbers, plastics, dashboards, leathers, the same off-label uses that I use with Meguiar's Express Spray Wax are the exact same uses I use with this product. I'll also say there were a few surface watermarks that I had 
on this car just after foaming it up and washing it down uh, when this when the water dried on the paint I'm using hard water and the technician spray wiped those water spots off no questions asked it was super super simple and while that might not sound that impressive because of course it's a surface level water spot I will say other spray waxes uh, for whatever reason even with those surface level water spots that happen in the same detail uh, as using the product actually will not come off and I have to use a dedicated waterless or I'm sorry water spot remover or something like a Meguiar's wheel brightener and acidic cleaner to actually get those off so you guys are just going to see the after result here and of course, most of it is in the shade, but I believe other parts of it in the other in the other side are on the sun or, or in the sun, as you can see here. And number one, the paint is in perfect condition just because it's a new car. But secondly, you see that depth of shine. Really, what I try to what I like to compare it to is a carnauba wax. A carnauba wax, people like to use them because they give that warm glow. That's that tends to be the word people use to describe it is that that warmth. And that is how I would describe this product here. So whether it's on the uh, plastic pieces that separate the windows or the paint or the glass. It just has that warm depth. Now here's a water beating test um, after about about nine days, actually not seven days, about nine days of this product being applied and the car sitting outside. This is what the water behavior looks like. So I mean, it's, it's, it's great. There's not a lot to be said other than really what you guys are seeing here. It is not quite as, what would I say, a beading product as something that you might say like bead maker is. Bead maker is going to have more of those kind of hydrophobic properties that, that technically speaking, uh, form those like intense hydrogen bonds in the water. They, they, they create like this net inward force and that's actually what creates the beads. This is a, what I would describe as more of a sheeting product, but still really repels water fantastically, especially for something that's, you know, a spray on product, uh, for a car that's been sitting outside. Now, because this is a ceramic detail product, uh, technically speaking, it can also be used to top ceramic coating. So while the Honda Pilot that we just looked at, uh, was a bare paint finish, there was no, no seal or wax or ceramic on it. This is an Audi that I coated with a coating from Nassiol. It's called their NL272 coating. It's probably my favorite ceramic coating on the market. I coated this Audi two years ago in that coating. The coating still looks fantastic. There's some water spots and etchings here and there, but I'm topping it here with the ceramic detail spray because I just want you guys to be able to see what this looks like as well. The hood is in the shade, but I'm going to top the uh, trunk with, with the uh, product as well because the trunk is in the sun. And the other thing you can see is I'm actually applying it in the sun. The hood is, or the trunk is very, very hot and, uh, you know, it's not a cool surface, even though the directions would say to apply it in a cool surface. So it just goes to so show once again, this can be applied in, in pretty much any uh, climate, in my opinion, whether it's wintertime, summertime, direct sunlight, sh uh, shade, whatever it is, there's absolutely no problem applying the product. Now, I think here you can see some of that warmth, even uh, maybe a little bit more because of the the dark red color on the Audi rather than just the, that kind of uh, gray or like darker, what would I say, darker gray on the Honda Pilot. But you guys see just the gloss, the depth of shine. I know I'm kind of repeating the adjectives I keep using, but it just looks amazing. The trunk as well in the sunlight, you guys can see some of those imperfections in the coating, uh, like I said, but no real swirl marks or anything like that, which <laughs> kind of goes to, goes to, show you what a great coating it is, but also how well it's been maintained over the past few years. Uh, but that being said, you guys can see what it looks like in the sun here. Still fantastic. Still get that really warm glow. Really, really impressive. Now the Mini Cooper, I applied, uh, what would I, what was the ceramic coating I applied to this? It was the Rennie Doyle Inspiration ceramic coating. That's right. And I want to just show you guys what this looks like on different colors, uh, different ceramic coated cars, what the different colors look like with this product applied. So, uh, let's see here. It's still a little dirty. I just kind of cleaned the hood pretty quickly to shoot this video and then cleaned the whole car afterwards. So, um, avoid the, <laughs> you know, dirt on the windshield, but you guys can see the, uh, again, warm depth glow, trying to think of other adjectives to use, <laughs> fantastic, fantastic coating to top ceramics or just to protect bare paint. The only question now is how long does it last? And we will be shooting future videos about that. But I can honestly say this product really has in a lot of ways totally replaced any synthetic spray wax or bead maker for me.
All right, guys, that's it for the Technician's Choice Ceramic Detail Spray. I hope you guys enjoyed highlighting this product for the product of the week video this week. As always, if you want to check out the product, there'll be a link in the YouTube description box below where you can buy that. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being involved. And as always, from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard, and I'll see you guys in the next video.